Hello and welcome to part 2. I'm uh, taking advantage of the holiday period to put some more extra hours into this project and moving this initial phase a little bit faster. So just to finish off the introduction that uh, we started yesterday, I want to show you the, the chat part and what I've done so far on that side and uh, what will be the next steps. So I think uh, the first things first will start by the small things. In the logs, I improved a little bit uh, the info that I have available here. I added the token count for the prompt for the completion and the total, total tokens uh, for each open AI API request. So this is just to make me understand a little bit better uh, possible uh, ways to improve things. Uh, if I have very big prompts, uh, if I should summarize more frequently, etc. etc. Uh, then in the chat, so I have a sample conversation here. So blue means it's the user and red means it's the AI assistant. It's Armin, that's the name I, I gave it for artificial mind. And um, so right now we are already having the short term memory for the chat. That means he has context of the conversation. He knows what you're talking about. Uh, much like you have nowadays with the chat GPT and other chat bots that are available. So what I did here, besides the chat context, besides passing the chat history to every prompt, was adding a summarizer. Now what the summarizer does, it picks up the previous, uh, let's say, chat history, the N previous messages, it goes to an API uh, request to summarize them, it adds those messages back into the chat, and in the next prompt, it will add this, the summary as well, as with um, along with the chat messages. So let me show you something more visual to better understand. So if you imagine this is more like a, a chat, uh, so the blue bars are the user prompts, the AI bars uh, are the red ones. And this is the prompt history. So at, at some point, the user makes uh, another input, he sends it back. Uh, it sends it to the API with a with the whole prompt and uh, a response is generated for the AI. Now at this point the summarizer kicks in and he analyzes do we already have enough chat history to make a summary and this analysis is based on the count uh, of messages and also the length of the messages. So if I have a lot of messages or if I have few messages but with a lot of content then maybe uh, I should kick in with a summarizer. So I will send the previous messages, except the last ones, actually not just the last, maybe the four last ones, to the summarizer. And I'll create a summary. So the summary will be injected after the last message that was sent to the summarizer, not in the end. Right? This is very important because I want to keep the last message is still available for the next prompt. So in the next prompt, let's say the chat continues for a while, the next prompt will always include the history, so the last previous messages, up until the most recent summary. So at any point in time, the prompt always includes one summary of the conversation so far, plus n last messages. So we want to keep these uh, messages outside of the summary so that we really don't lose important information of what the user was saying a direct question or comment etc we don't want to summarize that we want to summarize what's before and keep some you know really uh, fresh data uh, in front so the prompt now will include all of this and uh, at some point uh, we will again check that yes it's time to send new things to the summarizer so once we already have a summary, that most recent summary will also be included as the data sent to the summarizer up to a certain point, not including the most fresh uh, data. Then we have another summary again injected back uh, after the last message sent to the summarizer. Okay, so this is more or less the process that I'm doing uh, to create this short-term memory and to keep the AI with the context of what the discussion is about, what are the main points that are being talked, so it knows what's happened before. So, 
let's go back to the chat so you don't see any of that here because i'm hiding uh, what i sh what i uh, define as meta messages so it's messages that are here as part of the chat but they are meta information they are not really what me or the ai has written so i can enable the show meta and now i can see that after six messages or three from each side there has been a summary created with what was the conversation so far and then again after six messages another summary and then again another summary and as you can see there is no summary here yet because it it so far it hasn't felt the need that okay we need to summarize this again after maybe one or two more messages you will again summarize this part and it will include these ones right so of course that here the first summary is already pretty much gone because the conversation has changed many times so i started talking about monty python and some funny sketches then we switched to orange juice recipes and how to improve orange juice and you see here at this point in the summary it has both so we've been discussing monty python we both agreed blah 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 then we this we shared some ideas on how to make delicious orange juice by adding other fruits or herbs so it has it has both because it's still very fresh if we come down a little bit more uh here it already left monty python behind because the subject now is completely different so that's more or less how i am uh able to see with this meta what is being sent uh to the to the prompt and i can also see in the logs i have the the prompt introduction then i have the summary and then of course we have the live data the last messages and then the response comes back okay so this is how it's working so far with the summarizer and it's working pretty good so let me show you what else we have here because this is uh, very interesting and maybe i need to change my camera up here so you can see the whole sidebar so i added a quick temperature setting of course i have all the settings here in the options but uh, sometimes I want to try things and and uh, check which temperature works best. And so I added this one on the sidebar, which quick, quickly allows me to change the temperature for the responses and test different things. Uh, then I have these three buttons here on the bottom, which are really important. So delete last will delete the last me message, whatever it is. If it's mine, if it's the AI, if it's a meta message. Uh, delete last will always delete the last message so if i do this it's deleted so now if i wanted to try a different answer let's say with a higher temperature i could increase this to one and then i'll press replay so replay will analyze the current last message and redo like if it was a new message just being introduced right now so if i replay this because the last message is a user message it's like i just typed it right now and it's going to ask the ai for an answer so let's do that press replay and there is again another answer so i was asking about uh i was talking about i was recording a new video today and that actually yesterday i had some problems with my camera it was very laggy in the video and so it gives me some suggestions and uh to adjust the bitrate or the resolution which i already did and let's see if that solves the problem so this is what replay does the delete last chunk will delete all messages at, until the last user message so if i want to delete the whole thing including any meta messages in the middle delete last chunk will delete all the all that block of user and uh, the replies so th this is what these three do, do which are very useful for testing but actually i don't have this included just for testing i have this included for the most important part which i mentioned yesterday which is the fine tuning and this is where the edit mode comes in so as i mentioned yesterday the fine tuning will be a very very important part of this because i need the summarizer not so much but for the analyzer which will be the next thing i'll be working on the analyzer needs a specific structure of uh, of the output it gives like the intent the memories that are identified the 
facts that need to be stored in memory, etc. I need a specific structure, and this has to be fine-tuned. So, if I do fine-tuning um, manually, like I did before in my previous project for the AI that built its own source code, I would just open a text file, I would imagine dialogues, I would type them all in, then I had a script to convert those dialogues into the JSON file for the fine-tune uh, input. That was a tremendous amount of work and took me a long time to do. So what I thought is let's do this in an automatic way. I have real conversations using DaVinci all the time, so we have the highest quality of replies and understanding of the text. And then what I'll do, I will edit those messages in place. So that at some point I can just say, okay, now I want to export this conversation because it's it's great. It's exactly how I want it to be. And I'll send that data to the fine-tuned. Now, in order for me to do that, I need to make sure that the responses are exactly the way I want, which sometimes is not the case. So I have edit mode. When I en enter edit mode, right now I have edit boxes and I can change all the messages. So let's say uh, I would want to change the way it replies to this one. Today I'll be recording a video to show yesterday's progress and it says I'm excited to see results. I wonder if you need any help in setting up the recording. Um, so let, let's say I don't want it to be that helpful for some reason, just for the sake of demonstration. I will delete this part and I will say save and exit. And now this is the AI response, which will be included in the exported data which I would include in the uh, fine-tuned training. Now I can do this as well if I want to tune something back, uh, if I want to change my uh, question here, any past uh, reply, or even the summarizer. So the summary that is here, I could say, no, this summary is not that good. I think it should include also the other sketches that he mentioned before. Then I would add them here, blah, 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 blah and then save it and then when I do the fine-tuning for the summarizer it will pick up the summarizer messages. So this is the edit mode and uh, which also combines really well with the replay so I can edit something and then replay it again to make sure it comes out better. Everything to make the best possible data to be exported to the fine-tuner. Right? So I think that's the what I wanted to talk about today. The, this is the chat so far um, next steps will be adding the analyzer to extract that metadata, which will be very important for the memory part. Uh, injecting memories in. Once that is done, step three is to start working on the fine tune. So yeah, I think it's going pretty great so far. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.